Okay. To finish up this series on JIT LCD animation, just a few more videos with some quick, fun things. Um, there's me kind of shaking around here. I showed this in the other video where I'm updating frames constantly to this uh, this this JIT LCD object, and so you're seeing me, and it's like kind of shaking, but then you're also constantly getting these new frames from my camera. So uh, we're not getting a lot of these artifacts, like the spinning or the drawing, to actually stay on the screen. So if I were to turn this off, let's see. Let's turn it off like this. Whoa, then I can melt myself and draw all around. So you use um, live camera feed to kind of create the colors. Whoa, that's really cool. Okay, um, what, let's see, let's do jit.scissors. Jit.scissors, let's see, jit.scissors allows us to cut up a video, or a matrix rather, into columns and rows. So let's do columns and rows. And we will do at rows, let's just do a two by two at columns two. And I now have four outputs here. I'm just gonna shrink this a little so we can see. New jit.p window, what's happening? All right. We're gonna end up with two rows and two columns. So let's make two rows and two columns and connect this up. And should be one, two, three, four. Okay, yay. So you can see now that I've actually split this matrix into quadrants. So I have four new matrices taken from the original input. So what I can do with this is then use this partner object to jit.scissors, this I jit.glue. And I can do the same thing, rows two, columns two. And I could glue, uh-oh, I've done something wrong. What did I do? At, there we go. And uh, I can glue these matrices back together. So I could, I'm gonna just delete these for a second. My processing is getting extreme. And I could just put them straight back in. And let's look at that. Now it should be similar to what I had. Right? Or I could start to mix and match. So let's swap, for example, our bottom row. Whoa. And then I could maybe swap our top row too. Let's put a tree in here, see what that looks like. Okay, so you don't have to do this with just quadrants, right? You could have just four rows and one column or four columns and turn that into rows. Anything that you wanna do to kind of chop up this matrix and then piece it back together um, jit.scissors and jit.glue allow you to do.